Hi there, I'm just making a quick video about something I've seen in the news today. There's a tube strike planned on the day of the London Marathon. Now, I think this is a really bad idea and I'll explain why. So, I understand this tube strike is uh, in relation to safety concerns that the drivers and the staff are raising. It doesn't specify what those concerns are and I don't know what they are. Um, but I'm going to take their word for it, I'll assume that there are some serious safety concerns. I had a quick look at some statistics and a good few hundred people die each year on the London Underground's um, network of, of tracks and stations. Um, so there's obviously something that's unsafe that causes these deaths and if it needs sorting out, quite right, you know, it does need sorting out. If that requires strike action, great, you've got to do it and I fully understand that. Um, but I just think the London Marathon day is a particularly bad day to choose because first, firstly, if people can't use the tubes, they're going to rely on the buses. And on the day of the London Marathon, most of London's roads are closed for obvious reasons. The, the runners are running all over the place and it's, again, for safety. So you then don't, don't leave the runners or the spectators many travel options. What, what you've got is the, the runners are all going to have to try and get to Greenwich Park and if they can't go on the tube, I mean, people might start driving, where are they going to park? It's just going to create mayhem and, and that's probably why they want to do it on that day um, for that reason. But how does disrupting the London Marathon make Transport for London listen to what, um, what your demands are or what, what your point is? Um, because it's not, it's not hitting them in the pocket. Most of the people in London on the day of the marathon are runners. They've got a race bib. All they have to do is show that and they get free travel. So all you're doing is stopping the Transport for London supplying free travel. So if anything, you're saving them money because now the trains aren't running and they were going to have to run the trains for free. So you're not hitting them in the pocket. And if you're not hitting these large companies in the pocket, they're not going to listen. They're not going to care. Um, I, I, they generally will just look at the, the bottom line and the profits and things like that and unless you're costing them considerable money they're not going to listen. Um, so that, that's one reason really, the financial side is how are you going to get them to listen if it's not costing them anything. Secondly, again, if, if a few hundred people a year are dying on the tubes that is serious, that needs to stop and I get that but the London Marathon is raising money for charities, for cancer, for all kinds of illnesses where Thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people die every year as a result of these diseases and the London Marathon is raising money to research into these diseases and help cure them. Now I'm not saying that someone who dies on the tube has any less or more value than somebody who dies from a disease but you know let's think about the larger picture isn't it better to try and do something that prevents the larger quantity of deaths um, you know it, it seems to make sense to me. Um, so why, why are we trying to safeguard the 300 people who are dying on the tubes almost at the expense of people who are dying from diseases? Why can't they just strike on a different day, one where paying ticket um, travellers are not going to be using the London Underground, it's going to cost the London Underground money so they'll listen and two that you're not having a trade-off against people who are trying to raise money for charity and do good and, and making it problematic for them to do so. I just think it's a terrible day to be striking. I get the strike's got to go ahead. It just needs to happen on another day. That's my opinion on the matter. Um, so it, let me know in the comments what you think about it. Um, it's, you know, if people want to disagree, it's fine. I'm, I'm open to listening to opinions and uh, a bit of debate is always good because it gets these things out in the air and it gets them discussed. So um, I look forward to any comments. and. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of it. So thank you for watching.